to Wild Flower. My name is Romina Rasmussen and I'm the pastry chef at Les Madeleines in Salt Lake City, Utah. And today we're going to make an easy sour cream sugar cookie recipe. In fact, it's my grandmother's recipe. So I've been uh, creaming some shortening and some sugar, and this is the only time I use shortening, um, uh, in a bowl here. And I'm going to add to that um, two eggs. Oh, and it was a, it's one cup of sugar and one cup of shortening. There's that. And then I need a teaspoon of vanilla, which I'm actually going to add to my cup of sour cream. And that way I don't lose all my vanilla to whatever container I'm doing. Okay, and when that's creamy, I'll just fold that in. Okay, and then here I have um, a teaspoon of baking soda, half a teaspoon of salt, a half teaspoon of nutmeg, and three and a half cups of all-purpose flour. And I like to whisk them together, that way I know all my flavors and leavenings are mixed evenly throughout, rather than just sifting. Sifting is great too, but it, everything ends up where it started. So we've got that, and it's looking nice and creamy. We'll wipe off my renegade sour cream there and we're going to add it everything all at once okay so I'm going to mix that until it's just combined and I have some that I've already mixed together and so I'm going to use an ice cream scoop so that I end up with evenly sized cookies so I'll just scoop that right onto my I like parchment paper on all my trays because it's a lot easier to clean up. And these do better if you flatten them out. So take the bottom of a glass or in this case like a measuring spoon, I mean a measuring cup, and you can just kind of flatten them out. And those will bake right up. So these bake at 350 for about eight minutes and they end up looking just like that. It's pretty easy. That's how you make an easy sour cream sugar cookie recipe.